Hey guys, just gonna go through um, a little review of today and then I'm going to show you what I got at Uniqlo today. The stack of clothes is so big, it's actually showing up at the bottom of the camera. So excited to show you guys that. But first, today was probably the first day that I woke up feeling kind of sick. As you may be able to hear, uh, my, my nose has been running and I've been coughing and sneezing. And I'm really thankful that I got my Yakan Shomei uh, medicine report so that I could bring all of the Alka-Seltzer and cold medicine that I wanted. Now, here's the deal. I never really get sick in America and I never really get sick in general, uh, maybe twice a year. Yeah, maybe sometime in spring I get sick. And then if I'm, I don't know, for the heck of it, I'll get sick, you know, in November or something. But basically, um, I am, so I decided to kind of, one method I have to help me get well is to either watch all of my favorite kids shows from when I was a kid, or watch the movies that make me cry, and then just get all of the sinus pressure out of my face and head. And I have to say, it really worked for the most part. I watched this movie, uh, Bridge to Terabithia, if you've seen this movie, you know that it is just a tear jerker and so inspiring and so beautiful and so fun and so, ah, oh, it leaves you with such a good feeling, but it is an emotional roller coaster, I guess. And it's a kid's movie, but it's got some adult themes and just like universal themes and about imagination and about like coping with life. Uh, so watching that was really life affirming, but also I cried so hard, like my, my torso was just like trembling and I needed that. I think all the stress and all of the like dust and, and germs and, uh, anxiety and, you know, sorrow of saying goodbye to everybody just got congested into my face. And so to cry that all out was really nice, uh, with this movie. Um, and then today I'm going to treat myself for the past two weeks. I've been like, okay, I'm going to try out my new Japanese tub. Cause I've got a hot, like it's a big, it's a, a tall bathtub, but it's not so wide. So the amount, you don't have to put, uh, for the same amount of water that you would need in a regular bathtub, you can actually have the water go higher up to you because it's more like, more like a bottle and less like a bowl. Do you know what I'm saying? It's more deep and tall than it is wide, right? And so to celebrate, I got these cheapo bath um, dissolvable things. So they've got like floral, forest, uh, cherry blossom, strawberry, and yuzu. And I'm debating as to which one I want to use first. I'd like to try this green one, but then yuzu, I think, because the vitamin C would really help me get well. I don't know if they use vitamin. Actually, for dissolving things like this, you use citric acid, literally. So I think it, <laughs> if it absorbs into my skin, it could actually be good minerals for me. But um, this was at the dollar store, so I don't know the quality, but I'm excited just to try it and just actually just use my big bathtub um, and just get well and get all this stuff out of my system before Monday. Monday's actually gonna be pretty easy. It's just a big planning day and I've got two meetings with teachers. Um, but Tuesday I do have my first real lesson for sixth grade, so I wanna make sure that um, you know I've done all the pre-work I can. And yeah, it's just been a fun day at Uniqlo, a fun day crying at movies. And then, so after this video, I've got this delicious multi-layer cake to enjoy. So it's kind of like Tres Leches, if I had to describe it to anything. Oh, but it's just multiple layers with like a thin whipped cream filling. And it's nice and sweet, but it's not super sweet. It's more delicate and fluffy and creamy. And I like that too. Like, I've pretty much been eating, eating desserts every day since I've been in Japan. Yeah. But I've also been eating a lot more vegetables because of Kyushoku. Um, public school lunch, so I think it evens out. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited to show you what I got at Uniqlo. I got some really cool items that I didn't really ex expect and some ones that I really needed. So I'm going to show you those in just a second, but 
pretty much here's my first big, you know, my first head cold or, or flu or cold or whatever here in Japan. So let's do it. Thank you for watching. I love you.